If you're on number 36, you're in the section that I like to call the I loops. You're using a variable, as in a placeholder that allows the number to change each time. There's a video for activities 35 through 40 that explains I loops and how to think about them and how to use them. If you have not watched that video, go watch it now. So, with an I loop or with the variable loop, um, it says count with I from one to four. That means we're gonna use it for something where we're starting with one the first time and increasing to four. So that's gonna be our drop block. Now, when we use that loop, we always need to put a repeat I times. So the repeat I times and our drop block goes in the middle of that. So let me clarify that. The count from one to four is for everything that's going to be in our loop. So what's going to be in our loop will be to drop first and then move over. So then that's where I need the repeat I times for whatever block needs to change. So if we're changing how often the beaver moves, then it's move. This case, we're changing how many, how many logs the beaver drops. The move block, after the beaver drops, I need the beaver to move over one. So it's going to come after the little repeat I times in the middle. So you gotta have to get it between the two. So this is basically the do it one time, and this is the all four times, like we were doing in nested loops. And the little turtle tells us each time what I equals.